I'm not gonna eat the spinal cord. You wanna talk about it? Yeah, maybe. Would you eat it? Yeah. I feel like these are the parameters of like anything in here I have to eat. Oh, oh, you, oh you're eating it. Tacos con todo. Pásale, pásale a la birria. Birria fan, for sure. What's up, guys? We're back for another great episode of Tacos con Todo. We're gonna eat some amazing birria right here in the heart of beautiful Boyle Heights, the epicenter of flavor and good stuff. Pásale a la birria. If you remember from season one, we are on Olympic. The same street as Mariscos Jalisco, Birria La Unica, but we're at a very special spot. Virial Jalisciense. Big shout out to LA Taco. Thank you for the recommendation. Un abrazo, rompe costillas. So we got none other than the jean wearing, joke slanging, the man, the myth, the legend, one of my favorites, Mr. Mark Marin, will be here having birria. And when I talked to him at the parking lot at the comedy store, he said, I only do the show if you take me to the best spot. The best spot happens to be right here in the alleyway of an industrial laundromat. You said the best, bro. Look at the font, Mark. Birria, pasale. You notice how everyone just rolls up their windows as soon as they get to me? Mark. What's up, buddy? What's up, man? Thanks for doing, coming man? out here. I'm good, man. Where am I? You said you would only do the spot if it was only like the best food. Yeah. It just happens to be in a driveway next to an industrial laundry mat for denim. Okay. All right. Is that really? That's an industrial laundry mat for denim? They start at 8 a.m. and they usually sell out by noon. Really? So Are we too late? No, no, this is great. This is the most romantic thing I've ever done. It's yeah. like I closed down the restaurant just for you, bro. Oh, thanks, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, I so appreciate it. That's very nice. I gotta show I you this. I didn't bring you a gift or anything. No, okay. no, you're here. That's okay. the gift, dude. I suggest that we go with the number one. Yeah, okay. It's all goat? Yeah, it's all goat meat. Okay. So it's a little stringy, a little... Uh, Man, you're really selling this. Stringy, that's it. That's always something you want to hear about food. <laughs> oh, hola, ¿cómo está? Buenas tardes. ¿Cómo está? Muy bien. Este, Hi. Este es mi amigo Mark Marin. Oh. Comediante. Nice to meet you. Uh, este, vamos a ordenar este, uh, dos números unos. Dos órdenes. De número uno, por favor. You're eyeballing this. You like this? I like cookies. Yo, well, yeah, we're going <laughs> to... Real recognize real. Don't leave me hanging now. We're on camera. There it is. Uh, y este dos estas. Yeah. Mi nombre es Héctor Ramírez. Tengo el local que se llama Virgen Jalisciense. Yo vengo del estado de Jalisco, de un pueblito muy pequeño pegado a Aguascalientes. Yo vengo de una, de una línea de birrieros. Me especializo en la birria de Chivo, que es la original de nuestro estado, de nuestro pueblo. La birria, primero que nada, nosotros la consideramos un platillo especial porque en mi región solamente se ofrece cuando hay una alegría, cuando hay un evento familiar, una boda, cuando hay un bautizo, cuando alguien se casa. La birria tatemada originalmente se, se mete en un pozo y se tatema a fuego lento tapado con sus respectivas pencas de maguey y con sus condimentos atemados se lo damos ahorita en, en los hornos que tenemos apropiadamente para eso. Se, yo la comienzo preparando desde el jueves, lavándola, la preparo, la dejo preparada durante toda la noche. Para otro día, viernes tempranito, prendo las vaporeras a darles un proceso lento. Bien, regularmente durante la semana, pues todavía estoy trabajando eh, haciendo mantenimiento, es, es mantenimiento de un, maquinaria de una lavandería industrial donde trabajamos los jeans desde, desde que salen nuevos hasta que se miran destruidos, rompidos. Tengo años haciéndola, ahora estoy a, a ofreciendo el servicio al público por varias razones, la primera es porque me gusta, la segunda por necesidad, la tercera 
es porque hay una satisfacción muy, muy agradable el saber que les está gustando nuestra comida. Limes, cilantro, onions. Buenas tardes, ¿cómo está? Muy bien, ¿y ustedes? Oh, gracias, bien, yeah. bien. Aquí, mire, tienen sus platillos. Don Héctor. Sí, señor. Thank you. Y mire, aquí está un poquito de todo. Es okay. algo surtido que tiene un poquito de, de pescuezo, tiene piernita Neck, y tiene costillita. And rib. Para que la disfrute. Okay. Enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. yeah, a little bit of okay. everything. Beautiful. Thank yeah. you. Gracias. Thank you. Muchas yeah. gracias, don Héctor. Un placer. Uh, gracias. Can you go yeah. in there? Yeah. Just grab it. Oh. See, it's like rolling a blunt. You gotta, you gotta get one side in, wrap it, and yeah. then it doesn't drip on the bottom. Got it. I just thought there was bones in there. Good? That's hot. Yeah, and good. Wow. It's good, man. I told you, nothing but the best. There's some spinal cord. A little spinal cord, a little bit of everything. Again, thank you yeah. for doing this. I'm such a big fan and... and I am a fan of yours too, my friend. That's insane. I'm, I'm glad the cameras are rolling on that. that <laughs> when I first met you... Yeah. I'm parking is cars. A, is this a Mark is an asshole story? No. I love these stories. I, I meet you at the store. I'm a door guy. I'm yeah. parking cars. Yeah. I kept to myself for a long time. Yeah. I would just say, hi. Here you go, Mark. I'll get you right out, Mark. Now, the first time you see me on stage is one of those some comics running late. Yeah. So I'm up there giving him my all for my hot five minutes till somebody shows up. Yeah. And I'm up there giving it to the stool. I'm like humping the stool. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm in REM state, like thrust <laughs> yeah. mode, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I look over to Jeff Scott. Rest in peace, Jeff Scott. I look over to him, I'm like, who am I bringing up? Mark Marin. I said, oh, wow, you know this guy. TV show, our special, one of the yeah, yeah. best podcasts. Mark Marin, let's go. No, it's an, as a comic, you kind of linger in the room a little extra, see what Mark has to say. And you sit on the stool and you go, one day, the stool is going to fuck back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then as you're doing your set, I remember it wobbled. He's like, see? Yeah, He's yeah, like, yeah. I'm not the guy. I, I, yeah. I wasn't up here doing that to you kind of thing. The place is going nuts, right? Yeah, the stool fucking good. Yeah. yeah. So, so I remember I'm like in the hallway and you, you know, kind of walk off. I'm like, hey, my heart. Probably fishing for a compliment. I wouldn't pa put it past myself. Yeah. And then you looked at me like, I was as civil as I could have been up there. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> And then that was it. But now, take that to most recently, my phone blows up. Yeah. Hey, Mark is talking about you. <laughs> yeah. I said, oh, shit. Does he still remember the stool fucking bit? <laughs> yeah. I was at the store the other night, and I followed Jesus Trejo. And he just, like, these are young guys. And Trejo just fucking killed. To hear those kind words coming from you, that's insane. I, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. The reason I said that about you is, like, it was one of those things. I mean, I've been doing this a long enough time. And I've known guys in my generation who get funny. You don't, like, a lot of times you don't notice people. You know, like, I knew you were a door guy and I knew you were around, but I didn't know really what you did. And I was just busting your balls and getting up. Of course. I was doing that bit with any... I didn't, didn't go home and cry about no, it. No, no, I know, but it was about... In my room by myself with the door sure? locked. No, not at all. Okay. Don't play. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, but the stool was fucked up. It was more about the stool yeah, than no, anyone 100%. could have been anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you just happened to fuck the stool, which I think you got rid of, which is good. Yeah, I got rid of it. <laughs> no, I close with that now. No, I'm kidding. It, I, I will I never do that. We've all fucked a stool. Oh, but like what happened when I was backstage and you were going on before me in the main room, it's just like all of a sudden you just hear like someone in the pocket. You know, you hear somebody like has done the work and you hear somebody like that's killing and he's on top of it and he's at, you know, in control of his game. And I heard it was, and I was listening. I'm like, holy shit, that guy's, he's, he's here now. He's a guy. I'm not going to eat the spinal cord. Why is that? You want to talk about it? Maybe. Would you eat it? Yeah. I feel like these are the parameters of like anything in here I have to eat. Oh, oh, you, oh you're eating it. Mark. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Such a hard thing to stand out, right? It's like, even when you look at a place like this, it's like, yeah. how, how do they find success? How do they stand out? What are the things that you think help you kind of stand out? For years, like, I don't think anyone knew what to do with me. And they would try to put me in a box, like, oh, he's the cranky guy, he's the angry guy, but I don't think I was that palatable. I think I was really angry and really insecure and really afraid. So I didn't really sell tickets until, you know, after the podcast. I was already in my 40s, dude. Wow. So nothing's really changed other than I'm walking into rooms where everybody knows who I am and they're supportive and they're excited to see me. But that doesn't mean I'll, I won't make it difficult yeah. to like me. I know that I'm still a discoverable guy. Like, I know most people still don't know me, which is good. 
you know, so there's always room for people to show up. Yeah. But we'll see what happens. The world is ending, so it's all up in the air. In true Mark Marin fashion, there it is. Now I'm just eating the spinal cord, I don't care. Hell yeah, dude. Wow. So Hector works here. Yeah. His brother owns this spot, and this oh. is a denim uh, company. They stone wash them. Stone wash them. Like here's them. something right here. Yeah. For people who don't want to break in their own pants. Yeah. Yeah. That's there one of like, my favorite uh, uh, bits in that special that I had. It's like, yeah. like trying to explain to your immigrant father that you bought jeans that already were pre-ripped. Yeah, yeah. He's like, no one's going to believe that your pants ripped telling jokes. It's right. like, like, no. You know what it's I mean? a thing. I used to do a joke about people who... Uh, who bought like used, you know, like work shirts uh -huh. with names on them. <laughs> and the joke was like, yeah, it probably belonged to someone who had a job. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that it's, uh, it feels so safe in here. I'm, I'm... Oh, for sure. It's, it's, it's up to Cal oh, standards, yeah, sure, for sure. Yeah. Hector is, is my brother. He works with me in the maintenance of the machines. No, it's because he's my brother. No, it's for nada. Pero nos chupamos los dedos con su birria. Esto es de lo mejorcito de Los Ángeles que he probado por lo mismo de que él no tiene todavía los ingresos para irse a un local más grande y está comenzando ahí. Yeah, the tanks and this is all the stone the that's rocks. Out. But this is already too smooth to use, so they can't use oh, it's it like anymore. It's like pumice. It's yeah. like that volcano stuff. Yeah, they bring it in from Mexico. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is it legal? Yeah, of course. <laughs> this is a legal rock you can ship, by the way. I know. Any other kind of rock? No bueno. I'm going to take this rock. Yeah, I know take it. it. Look, finished pants. Yeah, so look. These are the different versions of the of, of the pants right here. Huh. What do you think? Well, yeah, I, I'm a jeans guy, aren't you? Yeah, There's yeah. part of you that's sort of like, are we shopping? Is that yeah, what? yeah. <laughs> Can we? That's why I was so excited to bring you in here. Is there a dressing room somewhere? Just go for it. See these kind of like rubber things? Yeah. They put them in there and this puffs out. Yeah, and then and they, they blast them? No, they sand them by hand. En cuestión de jeans y birria es lo mejor aquí en Los Ángeles. Es mejor chef que mecánico, pero yo digo que pues los dos. ¿Usan algo más limoncito? Uh, more lemon. Okay. Yeah. Sí, por favor. You never know when you have an amazing food experience. Mark Marin starts off in a garage. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And now you're in a different place. Now there's a studio with lights and, and an engineer in there and this and that. So if this place was like in a, in a food court of sorts or like a, a food hall, what is gained, what is lost? Well, ultimately what happens is people that knew about this place before will say like, oh, I used to go when it was just in a garage and it was better. Even if it wasn't better, the experience meant something to them right. because it was unique to them. But I think a food hall could only, I think most of the time will We'll give them a better working environment. We'll give them an opportunity to have more dishes if they want. Right. To expand the menu. Efficiency. Yeah, and also probably bring more people in. Now, the risk is that, you know, to accommodate the demand, the heart might not be as connected. Yeah. So the food might suffer. They make it the same way, but if your heart's not in it, it tastes different. Do you feel that that's what happens now to this in this day and age, like, like comedy specials? Or as somebody like is yeah. coming up, they're developing this thing and then the yes. powers to be start diluting the, the thing. Well, yeah, because there's so much demand for content. I've done shit where I wasn't ready for it, and I've seen it, and I know what it looks like, right. you know? There's so much content, and there's less to lose. That's the weird thing, is like, it's similar in a way, I guess, to the food hall thing, is that uh, yeah. it, it does get diluted, but less people know about it. So like, you get a special on whatever the hell it is. Remember that joke I used to do, Clomper? Yeah. Because, that, you know, do you, do you get clomper? What is that? I don't even know yeah, what that yeah. is. You get the opportunity, but what does it really mean? You, it, you, you, no one can see it. There's something respectable about somebody that says, hey, I cook this much yeah. and I'm out at noon. Yeah. It's almost like a comic, the artist's integrity of it, where you're like, hey, I'm, I, I have to turn down these things because I know that the Beasley, aka the joke, is not cooked all the way. So I'm gonna That's service true. these opportunities and the rest, I'm out. That's true, it takes a lot of guts to say no. Get that thing, that little thing, it's gone. Um, okay. It wasn't noticeable. No. Okay. Little, little tortilla crumb. But uh, <laughs> people aren't going to notice a you until you're a whole thing anyway. Like something happens. It's some sort of magic. And that's what I was telling you about when I kind of heard it when I was backstage and you were on. I was like, oh man, this guy's arrived. He's a full on comic now. Is that there's different points of that. You know what I mean? Where like you think you got it because it's you. 
but people aren't quite seeing it. But eventually, if you're lucky, people get it. Because of the podcast where I could engage everything that I am, people got to know me, right? Yeah. And they're like, I get it. And you can't make that happen. You don't know when it's going to happen. But if you're lucky, it happens if you work. See the oil, that's going to be good. It, it just it just Mexican cookies. Yeah. I know. It's like redundant if you say greasy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that. Oh, yeah. oh, there's stuff in them. Yes. You know what that is? Sugar, more sugar. More sugar, yeah. Burnt sugar. <laughs> so on your podcast, oftentimes the, the tone is the world is ending kind of thing. It's like, I do stay hopeful as Mark Marin, the stand-up comedian. It's really something I think about a lot now because it's hard to, it's hard to decide you know, what our responsibility is as comics and also as entertainers, you know. I don't know that I'm hopeful, uh, but I do know that I can see reality as I see it and share that in a funny way. Yeah. And I think it provides some relief. I mean, I'm opening my show, my stand-up right now with, uh, I don't want to be negative, but I don't think anything's ever going to get better ever again. <laughs> That's my opening line. But that's what now I'm burning thinking. it on your show. Yeah. What? I, I, that's what everyone's thinking and feeling right now. So right. Yeah. And the laughter is cathartic and weird. So I'm going for the cathartic and weird. But I wouldn't say I have hope. But I'm trying to remain realistic and honest about what's happening, and uh, in the present. That's all I can really do. Hey, if you got kids, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not going to be easy for them. And if you don't have kids, eat a cookie. One more. Thank yeah. you so much for taking time on your Saturday to come out here and have some yeah. Vivian. Yeah. And um, I hope you loved it. It was great. Good food. Nice yeah. to see you. Thank Big you. fan. Thanks, man. Crazy. I mean, what do you, what do you say to that? Mark Maynard, ladies and gentlemen, tacos con todo. We'll see you next one. Hello, my name is Jesus Trejo. I'm the host of Tacos con Todo. And don't forget, to like and subscribe. You can watch more right here. Hurry, watch another episode before your boss comes in and you get fired for real this time.